my name is Marco. Today I'm going to talk to you about fluorescence. The materials you'll need today include a black light or ultraviolet light, both are the same thing, money. U.S. money, especially the newest money, has more color in it, but foreign money can be even more colorful. Some form of identification, like a driver's license, credit cards, and some items that you may not have at home, including fluorescent paints and invisible ink. Since we'll be using ultraviolet light in today's activities, please be aware that prolonged direct exposure to the eyes can cause clouding of the corneas, and prolonged exposure directly on skin can actually cause sunburns. Many everyday objects have fluorescent pigments inside them. In this case, it's a $20 bill that says 20 USA, 20 USA. This helps with counterfeiting measures. Other countries do the same thing, but sometimes in a more elaborate way. For example, Canadian $5 bill, you can see it says Bank of Canada in English and in French with two different colors of fluorescent ink that again shines brightly when you shine an ultraviolet light upon them. Other items that people do not want counterfeit are things like driver's licenses. In driver's licenses, <clears throat> once again, they use fluorescent dyes to embed markers that show that the license is not fake. In the case of California, we have the Golden State Bear that shows up in three different colors of fluorescent dyes, making for a very clear and easy way to check whether a license is authentic. If you see this strip of cardboard, you can see some off-white or whitish looking colors on them, and even on this end, not see anything at all. When I take my UV light and shine it upon them, you see different colors like yellow, bluish, different types of yellow, yellowish green, bluish purples, even reds. All the colors of the rainbow can be made up from dyes that when excited with ultraviolet light give you all the different colors. This is a model of a cell. When you look at a cell under a microscope, often you don't see very much, just a little bit of contrast. In biophotonics, we can take cells and label different parts of the cells with fluorescent markers. Then when you shine UV light, you get all kinds of different colors that are specific to where the tags are located. You can make things like the nuclei show up better, endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, all the different parts of the cell can show up in bright colors to show you exactly where you put your markers. Fluorescence occurs when you take light of higher energy, like ultraviolet light, which we can't see with our naked eyes, and you shine that light on matter that matter becomes excited and upon relaxing or calming down it gives off light that is of lower energy that you can see so for example we put an ultraviolet light and in the money Canadian money we saw that the colors that came back <clears throat> were in this part of the spectrum so to recap you take high energy light excite matter when that matter relaxes lower energy light comes off I hope you enjoyed today's demonstrations on fluorescence my name is Marco Molinaro from the Interdisciplinary Science Education Team at CBST. Thanks for watching.